On the twelfth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me twelve drummers from eleven pipers, piping ten lords will leave me nine ladies waiting eight maids of milking seven swans are swimming six geese are laying five golden rings, four golden birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree, and a partridge. Hi Scorpios, welcome to my channel. We're doing your reading. How are you? How are you? See you. See you. Hold on. Okay. Chat over there, whatever you guys want to do. But hold on. Is here, Scorpio. I know. I don't know if I was if I able to mention in your videos, but it's finally out. I put it in the comments. This is the rising star. I can't say box because it sounds Starbucks. <laughs> but anyhow, the rising star, um, uh, continuing from goddess to the high priestess. This one is made specific for the star card. You know, like dreams, desires, you know. So that's the theme of this wonderful box. I mean, that's a solid right there. Okay. So it is amazing. Of course, we put it, uh, we sent out an invite um, already on Instagram. So follow me there. Um, there's going to be more things happening for this rising star. It's available now. It's limited collection, just uh, you know, like any other boxes that I create. So hopefully you get yours. Okay, so exit rising star because the real star is here. Okay. <laughs> no, that's a star. All okay, right, so Scorpio, without further ado, this is the last, um, the last of your reading for this year, December. Okay, so it's quite a journey. Uh, which I want to share with you guys how I, um, normally my cards are already out on the table, like I pick it up, but this time it's like, you know what, let me share how, uh, you know, to my Scorpius, how I keep it. Okay, so this is uh, what I do. So I have some salt, okay, so I'm all about mystics, you know, I'm all about, you know, all this wonderful energy things. So, so this is what I do. So I shake it, you know, before the before the start of the day, of course. Normally, because this is a whole process. But this is where I put my cards, depending, because I do have a lot of tarot cards. So there are different cases for different days. Of course, you're gonna tell me, it's like, how bougie is that, right? It is. Okay. And I like to take care of my my things in a magical way. You know, it's like, I'm not amazed about iPhone or whatever. I mean, I'm amazed about, you know, mysticism, the magical world, of course. You know, who cares about taking a picture when this is no filter? Okay. <laughs> it's all like the craft. <laughs> okay. So we're going to use this. Okay. So the salt keep it um, basically from any energy vibes, you know. Sometimes I do guilty, leave it on the table though, you know. But as much as possible, I have different cases like this. Okay. Which soon, okay, um, you'll, find, uh, you'll find this in the store. Okay. So it's my pink Himalayan salt. Sometimes I do use the Hawaiian okay, black salt also. But anyhow, let's see what's going on for my Scorpios. Uh, okay. Now, it is uh, still Scorpio season until mid-December. So, of course, we follow Sidereal, right? So let's see. Okay, I still haven't gotten your cake. I did get a cake, but I ate it. So, God. Scorpios, ooh. Okay. The Hermit, okay. We're doing some introspection, I see. Okay. Now, the Hermit is all about, no, it's all about, um, you, you know, well, I talk about spirituality, mysticism, you know, the occult knowledge, ethereal knowledge. You venturing into that golden staff. Okay. The star over there is the Merkaba, so you're doing um, a lot of uh, communication with your creator, God. Mm -hmm. Having the hermit also, um, this involves um, in seclusion. Scorpios are the most private, but the most outwardly private. Because everybody sees you, but you don't want to be seen. But you carrying that golden staff over there, 
you can't be no, you know, like you gotta be noticed. You will be noticed by people. Yeah, see that? Because this is your side. You feel imprisoned at some point, you know, by this whole attention that you're getting. But it comes natural, you know, all these people trying to go, uh, you know, like spirituality, astrology, tarot, you know, um, you know, automatic writing, you know, all this different, you know, psychic, you know, this is all you, you know, your natural you. And you hold that golden staff while people who doesn't even have any kind of Scorpio wants it, right? It's just mesmerized by you and you're like, well, this is my regular life. I've always dabbled in the mystics. It's me. I don't know why you guys are making a big fuzz about this. You guys are in my territory, basically, and you're needing time out. Unplug, you know, yourself. As you end this year, you're trying to find, okay, who you really are deep within, the magic inside you, and together with your creator. Five pentacles, another person. Mm -hmm. Now, this only goes to show that one, of course, this is totally no contact. Uh -huh. You don't need to be a reader to understand that. The Five of Pentacles is a, a very difficult, challenging card for them. Needing you, wanting you, but isolating themselves from you. You found peace by yourself as a hermit. You found, mm, you found enlightenment by not talking to them. They say you will see how good the connection is if you guys are separated, not when you guys are together. Yes, it's true. Together, there's all this whimsical feeling of love. There's always a whimsical feeling of butterflies. But in separation and you see yourself finding the real essence of who you are is even way much better than being together, cuddling together, you know, like, yes, I understand the whole romantic, you know, romantic connection, but you find your own purpose that, okay, um, I like this. Yes, I am saddened that we are separated, but it's a different side of me that I'm seeing now. They do, uh, I mean, they do the opposite. The need, the want, the desire is a five pentacles because what are they gonna do? They're out there in the cold, they know that they're suffering, and it's not giving them purpose. You know, there's, they feel empty. I mean, these are beggar right here. But they, they're not talking. They need you. On your end, Queen of Coins uh, explains a lot. I choose my wonderful uh, outfit for you guys today, green. Of course, heart chakra, but we all know, dinero. Money, finance, stability matters you're naturally inclined to make money naturally inclined to um, have resources for some reason you always land on your feet and you're not even a cat meow that's your leo mm -hmm. there's a virgo here capricorn you find your stability by not being in a relationship props to you you care for others queen of pentacles does uh you know give uh this uh Stable energy, you're a provider, but more on the financial side. You're a person who's a rock in the family. Not the rock, Duane, but a rock. You're gold. Okay? You're gold in regards to your family. You cherish. You know the value you know, of the family. And you, I feel, um, have elevated yourself this year financially. Hermit in the Queen of Pentacles. Yes, life has been better. Relationship-wise is drought. Coins-wise is amazing. Of course, there's going to be a Scorpio who's going to say, but I don't got no coins. Well, you probably don't have yet. Okay? If it doesn't resonate, it only means it's a prediction, right? If I tell you you're going to win the lottery, have you won the lottery? Not yet. But a prediction will not resonate until it happens. Open your mind. Okay? I do understand that, you know, I read to the TikTokers here. That's why I said, exit teenagers, go to TikTok. Okay. Huh. Okay. So the Queen of Pentacles here, with your career, your business. It's striving. Work hard for it. Find a balance. I encourage you. I always say that to the to the Scorpios. Manifest those coins, especially now that Jupiter is gonna go um, you know, to Capricorn in your third house. I know Saturn is there, but this is uh, what we call a niche bomb. 
you know. Uh, you know, like, it, you know, Jupiter is debilitated in Capricorn, I see, yes, but Saturn is there, you know, it's its own home, so it makes it positive. Your courage, your ideas is bigger, your social media influence is going to get bigger. You have a big idea that will be, you know, it's going to give birth this coming uh, 2021. It's going to be amazing. Mm. It's going to lead to become a spiritual also. You could be a teacher, an influencer, YouTube, I don't know, Instagram, TikTok, whatever you want to call it. Okay, hopefully not my space because I don't know if Jupiter can bring that. <laughs> they need you. Five Pentacles and a Two of Cups needs you more than ever. Feels. Scorpio, where are you? I'm at work. I'm taking care of my family my responsibility, my taxes, my bills, my house, the car that I want, that I've been working hard for is here. I got, I got priorities. Mm. They left such a wonderful connection, but sadly, you're not in a two of cups mode. I swear, I should stop watching Crown because the queen comes out over here. <laughs> sometimes it's Miss the Legend, okay? Um, Margaret Thatcher. Yeah, sometimes it's the Charles, <laughs> if I'm feeling like a Charles, okay? <laughs> when I sleep, definitely the, you know, Lady D. All right, she's amazing. Okay, ooh. You want me to explore the two of cups? Oh, no. oh, tell me more, so I'll put it here first. Okay, so the Two of Cups uh, wants you to reciprocate the feelings that they once gave to you. They need this love right now more than ever. Affection that you used to give is what they're clinging and holding on to. Someone can't let go of you. We've all heard about that for thousands of readings that I've made. Okay, it's getting too tiring even for me. Okay. But it's here. You can't ignore the fact that this person really do feel for you. Uh -huh. Spiritual progress, spiritual, this is uh, that Eight of Wands. Okay. Fast acting, moving card is Eight of Wands. So the way it works is, this is when, um, you know, you strike the iron when it's hot. You, you have give, you're given by the signal of the universe, keep going, keep manifesting, right? Because all these wands can turn into golden wands. Now, whatever golden wand you want, basically, it's a magical wand that the hermit has. You know, not everybody puts attention to that, but I like gold. Mm hmm Okay. And dinero. Okay. Who cares? Taboo or not? Stop it. Okay. The world revolves in that energy. Okay. Either learn to use it wisely or it eats you. You're smart. Use it properly. Because you, you do, okay, you're spiritually awakened with the Eight of Wands. You talk to people. You help people. You travel, you, you know, you, you or you could travel also with the Eight of Wands. Mm. There was someone who was traveling recently, probably, who you have um, communication with. Mm. Open Your communication is open to this person. Not a good sight for their, uh, I mean, sight. You got the Nine of Swords. Uh, crippled, stress, realizing how much they love you. You're not in that page right now. They're in that page. They're in that mode. Right? <sighs> Rahu in your seventh house. K2 exalted in uh, Rohini. K2 exalted in Jishta and Scorpio. Okay. Makes people want to be with you. you. Get so many people talking to you, Eight of Wands. But you're continuously practicing your spirituality with the hermit. It's good. I applaud. Person is stressed because you don't cling to emotion and feelings, which you should never. Let go and let be. Person does not know what to do, what kind of action that they can, uh, you know, they can do so things goes back to its normal. There is no normalcy after this. Because they ghosted you, you didn't care. You find the strength. Are you getting your tea? Because we're just starting. Five of Cups. Okay. 
Miss opportunities is what you look at. You still love them. Because mm. you got a toe cuffs behind you. But you're having a spiritual reason to walk away. Normally a spiritual reason is be, you know, above all reason. Above even love. Because you start loving yourself. Spirituality is within, in, in, inside us. And you choose that spiritual side of yours. Then you love yourself. Is it selfish? No. It's you understanding that you have more. You are more than a relationship. Which is good. But then you still have down moments. I see that here. You're only human. I understand. So depression, stress is still there. You know, you go in up, down, and up. So you know, up and down. As always, you will be the one who cannot be trusted. Get a seven of swords. You're trying to tell yourself to convince yourself and I will drag you by the hair but not my hair mm -hmm. drag you by the balls but not my balls <laughs> only me can say that um, five of cups to the seven of swords why lie why lie why ignore them why say you don't care I see you I know you it's here so it does hit here mm. Good thing I'm not wearing anything in my eyes. Is that all natural? Okay. I feel you. I feel you, Scorpio. You still love them. Look at my energy being... Mm. I still love them. Seven of Swords with the Five of Cups. Stop lying that you don't have feelings for them anymore. Is it a yay for the cross watcher? Oh, I knew my Scorpio loved me. Mm. Yay, right? Even though I advise no cross watching. I knew they always have feelings for me. Yay. Is it yay? Just saying. I don't hate Crosswatcher. Oh. So you still love them, Mr. or Miss, whatever you are, Crosswatcher. You're just waiting for them? I'm still waiting for that Scorpio. <laughs> I'm still waiting, Sal. I sense them running away, though. Their side, Seven of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. Hmm. Seven of Swords. They're waiting for you, and you have all this seven. You have all this pride and ego, which you have. <laughs> I'm upset, but I'm not gonna say it. Five of Cups. I'd rather go in a hermit mode, hide under a rock, and do all my manifestation. Mm-hmm. Is it yay for Scorpio also? Because they love you. They're all about you. You're all about... No. I want to be stubborn. Not stubborn. You're just finding a different purpose. They would call you stubborn. Okay. Weesh. Let's see what's coming in between. King of Cups. You're the reason also why you guys are not together. Is it a good reason, bad reason? No, it's a good reason. You're prioritizing yourself, what you love. You love your work, you love your career. You see your potential growing, then it's good, right? Mm. Their side. Is it yay? Now for the five pentacles, now you know how empty you are. Oh, don't get do, do dislike over there, okay? I always say do not watch another person's reading. So now you know the value of the Scorpio. Mm. I put you guys together in the room so you guys will understand each other now. Two five of pentacles, how much are you empty without that Scorpio then? I like that this reading became balanced also. I'm just gonna talk to this person. How much do you love the Scorpio? And how much you want them? More than ever, exactly. How much they love themselves? More than ever also. How much they lie to themselves? More than ever. <laughs> Eight of Pentacles, I focus on my work, my health, my dreams, climbing the corporate ladder, being busy, outside love. They don't want love, they want sleep, Four of Swords, because they are overworked. Business has been thriving, projects are coming left and right, then I need sleep. I need mental clarity, and this relationship is not. I see you. 
Hmm. Yeah, I should do that. I'll drag the cross watchers and all their zodiac. So you can be drag also, Scorpio, if you watch the read. The star card. Maybe they'll buy the star box. <laughs> Hopeful, wishing, divine timing. You still want them. You still feel destined to be with a Scorpio. You can't let go. He's been eating you also. Isn't it not, cross watcher? Isn't it not? Hmm. Whatever zodiac you are, Aqua, Leo, Scorpio can be a cross watcher on the other side also. Capricorn. Long distance relationship. This person cannot fathom right now. Knight of Swords with the star card. How can something so good, okay? Well, before, okay, now is in the opposite. Misery. Uh, Pentacles. You used to love misery, Scorpio. Misery loves company. Now you understand. Let them suffer in their own misery. The tower. Suffer in their own misery. You're not laughing at them that, oh, now you know. No, I don't sense that. You care. You don't want them to suffer like this. You love them. Hmm. But it just so happened this is how their karma plays around. An emotional upheaval is what this person is going to go through. Like they wouldn't know what to feel. They would need some healing. Healing. Star card. Healing or healing? Mm -mm. <sighs> Nine of Swords. Touche, Sal. Touche. On their side. Page of Swords. You're being watched. Scorpius don't like that. Especially Leos and Cancerian. Who has Ashlesha. Nakshatra. They don't want to be pinned down in a corner. You have a lot of stress with regards to love. You have a lot of progress with regards to your career and coins. This person doesn't do much. They only care and th see and wait. When are you going to come back? Or are you going to come back? Stop lying to yourself, Scorpio. Nine of Swords with the Seven of Swords. No matter how much you say that this person is not part of my life anymore, we have separated, okay? This person is just waiting for an opening. They're waiting for an opening that they get a chance to talk to you. Closely watching you. Wishing and praying. Okay. So, I'm going to continue this reading for the Scorpios. Link down there in the description box. I'm pretty sure the Crosswatcher will go there anyway. <laughs> I will drag you if you go there. So hold your horses. Maybe you're a Sag. Oh, I got Scorpio also, Virgo. Mm. All right, Capricorn, Taurus. Mm. All right, so Scorpios, follow me down there in the description box below. Make sure you get this, Scorpios. I know you guys are a big supporter of everything that I do, okay? And this is magical, star. The star is here, mm -hmm. star card. Um, so, um, if you are already in our app, make sure you turn on the notification. If you don't have our app, make sure you download Eatreadlove uh, Love Inc. Apple and Android available. All the links is going to be in the description box. We'll see how this progress. Um, is it progressing? I mean, you are. Are they? Not sure. I'll see you guys again. Have a wonderful, wonderful day, Scorpios. This is the last for this year in December. And I will see you guys again next year for your January 2021. Bye, guys. Are you ready to meet your new favorite app? Get ready for Twin Flames.